WFFD TV presents Gentle Giants with Pam Minnick and Katie Kaufman. It's hard to believe that it's been five years since we began our journey with Gentle Giants. We're rodeo girls, barrel racing, roping, and cow horse, but we quickly fell in love with heavy horses, and the draft horse community welcomed us with open arms and offered to teach us about this side of the horse world. We began our educational journey with Eudora Franks, who literally grew up driving horses. She took the time to teach us how to properly harness and bridle Luke, one of her patient Belgians. Pam, it's your turn. Okay, so Luke's harness. Okay. Okay. We're going to start with Luke's collar, which is right here on the floor. So, first I'm going to check to make sure it's clean, correct? Okay, then I'm going to put it, put my water on and you got to lead your through it. Hi, guy. Thank you. And then I turn it around right at this throat latch. Ah, <laughs> it's okay, just twist her on. Yikes, that was <laughs> good. Good? That's fine. See, we still have our palm. Mm -hmm. And every time I harness this horse, he seems a little fatter. Okay, now. All yes. right, now the fun part. I'm going to use the Eudora method. Throw it latches out of the way. Bit. There you go. Okay. 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 I just like doing it that way because I don't have to try to get one arm all the way on the top of their head, which is, yeah. even for a tall plate person, that's a long way to reach up there. Very good. I think I've got it. <laughs> now that was a lot of straps and buckles to learn, but I think we've got it now. <laughs> <laughs> then we headed up to Big Shoe Stables in Oklahoma where Don Langell gave us our first driving tips. He's been instructing future Teamsters for a long time and he had to start with teaching us the very simple basics. You want to have just enough tension on them that they can feel it. So is that too much or that's... Probably not enough. Not enough, really, reach, wow. Reach, reach with these thumb and finger behind and grab here to tighten. Oh, gotcha, okay. Mm -hmm. That's how she, she's most comfortable with them, so that's what we're gonna do. Sit back. Sit back here? I don't need the brake, right? Nope. Okay, now what? Hands back. But, I, but if I do, I'm pulling on them. They start backing up, you're pulling too much. Okay, so, so just like a regular, so then I just feed myself some? Yep. Okay. And now. you just get their attention a little bit and say, here. Here. Kiss. Like that? Yeah. Here. Here. How do they know? Tighten up a little bit. A little bit more. Move around to your left. Shorten your hand up. There you go. I said, whoa. Perfect. Is this cool? Are my hands okay? Side back. <laughs> you got a whole seat. Are we good? Yep. Like this? You just 
get their attention a little bit. So here. 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 Not now. Okay. I don't even know if I hit the brake. No. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you, Don. Oh my. Yeah, no kidding. Back. 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 Whoa. Okay, that's good. <laughs> when we return, we'll head up to Pennsylvania where Roger Toms is going to trust us to drive his six Clydesdales. Stay with us. General Giants will be back in just a moment. Welcome back to General Giants. After we learned how to harness and then drive a team, Roger and Linda Toms at Rollin' on Clydesdales in Pennsylvania invited us to visit. Roger showed us the art of handling six lines and trusted us to drive his Clydesdales in a wagon full of friends down a backcountry road. I'll help you out here yeah. getting started and move the lines for you to get set. But today, what you need to do is don't open your hand. I'm just getting them all straightened here in your hand. Okay, close your hand. You take your thumb and finger, you can pull up slack that way, and then to let slack out, you reach in front of your hand and pull it out. If you open your hand up, you let the other lines will slide a little bit too. So you just move. Pull that way. Pull, pull so that gets uh, out. Well. This gets it yep. and, uh, the top one is your lead horse. The one in the middle is your swing team. The one in the bottom is the back team here, the wheel team. You ready? You got it, Katie? Yes, ma'am. Competition. Can the guy sitting next to you help you with your lines like that uh, or no? Not if I really need help, but he's telling me what I need to do. Uh, if something's pulling a little too much, if he has a question if somebody's not working where they should be, yeah. he'll tell me. And uh, he's keeping an eye on everybody else in the ring. It's easy. I mean, to do this, the ring like three or four times going fast. That, I can't believe it. 
Okay. Right. I feel like my left penis, my left side is going fast. That was so much fun, and now we even have more respect for the great Teamsters who drive multiples. On a recent trip home to California, I visited Mary Beth Scott at Night Haven Shires, where I hopped aboard her beautiful Shire Stallion, Chris, and put him through his paces. What a cool horse, and you look so natural up there. I gotta admit, I was just a little jealous. <laughs> so when we went to Wisconsin to meet the Guinness Book of World Records tallest horse, Big Jake, we both went for a ride. <laughs> Craziness, craziness. I had no idea he would be this smooth. This is what the word gentle giants really entails, a horse that over 80 inches tall at his withers and light as a feather on his feet and in the bridle. And I'll never duplicate this feeling. <laughs> I think I need one. <laughs> He is. He's a very good boy. You a good boy? <laughs> wow. Big Jake was so awesome and truly a gentle giant. And I think we were both surprised at how smooth he was to ride. You're right, Pam. When we return, we'll show you how we are sharpening our skills to compete in an obstacle driving class. Stay with us. Oh, man. He is so cool. Big thumbs up for Big Jake. All right, get the center set, then pick another set. Welcome back to Gentle Giants. The Percheron Horse Association of America invited us to compete in the celebrity obstacle driving at their World Congress. <laughs> So to get the hang of going fast around cones, we went to Gene Brown Training Stables to get some extra instruction. He hitched up a Speedy Morgan that he uses in combined driving competition. Good. Yeah, that's the key. Yeah, that makes it easy. Push. Oh, beautiful, Pam. Now you've quit looking down, so you're staying on your line. Push, push, push. Good. Now look at your cones and put your hook right through them. Put it through. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was awesome. That was so cool. How'd we do? You gals are gonna, you don't win this thing. I know where you live. I'm gonna come steal your cooker or something. 
poisoned your flower bed. Thank you. Thank you so yeah. much, Gene. Yeah, but yeah. I think it helped us learn that, that we got to be a little wide to make those oh, turns yeah, yeah. if it, yeah. No, yeah. Just... All right, you ready? Yeah, I think so. You got the idea, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh. I think so. Now, two rules. What are they? Yeah. Um, don't slow down and keep the hook in the middle. That's it. Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> I never saw anybody hit one and they're not doing it. Put it right in there. Ha <laughs> ha, look at you! <laughs> that's it, that's it. The cones. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. More cool. than four holes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Thank you. You got it all. <laughs> We've got it. It's just like pulling a long horse trailer. We've got to remember to swing wide around the cones so we don't hit one. And now it's time to drive the big horses. The Cleavy and Day families were generous enough to offer their Blue Ribbon Days champion Percheron mares and driver Dean Woodbury, who was calm, cool, and collected in the passenger seat. Right. Take them right up or they're going to go fast. This is a timed event, and the first driver through the end obstacle definitely gets an advantage. There's a 15 second penalty for each obstacle knocked over. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's what I was here. 
<laughs> Thank you, dude. <laughs> Pam and I truly want to thank everyone in the heavy horse industry who has opened their arms to us over the last five years. We've all become such great friends. This has been an incredible journey and that's why we titled this. We hope you enjoyed this look back. We can't single out any one person because everyone has been so welcoming and especially you, the fans. Thanks for watching us. And don't forget to watch us next week right here on Gentle Giants. Or as always, you can see what's new on our Facebook page. Bye now. <laughs>